In some processes, you may get a requirement where the bot should prioritize certain items over the other items in the queue. For example, in our currency conversion process, let's say we want all the items with GBP to be processed first, followed by USD items, and then the rest of the items. In such a scenario, we can use the Work Queues Priority feature. If you open the Add to Queue stage, you can see an input called Priority, which is a number that you can assign to an item while adding it to the queue. The lower the number, the higher the priority. So items with priority 1 will be processed first, then items with priority 2, followed by priority 3, and so on. If you leave this blank, then the default value is 0, which is the highest priority. So first, all items with blank priority will be processed before it goes to the rest of the items. So let's set up work queue priority feature for our currency conversion process. I'm going to create three environment variables called low, medium, and high and we will input the currency names in each of these variables to specify their priority. So let's go to the System tab, Environment Variables, and we will add the three variables, Low, Medium, and High. Now what we are going to do is, we will enter the name of the currencies in each of these variables and based on that, the add to queue stage should assign the priority for the item when adding it to the queue. So let's say I enter CAD for high, GBP and USD for low, and EUR for medium. And when the process executes the add to queue stage, it should assign high priority for all the items with CAD, medium priority for all the items with EUR, and low priority for all the items with GBP or USD. So I'll click Apply, then we will go to the process, click Refresh, drag and drop three data items. And then we will map them to the three environment variables we created. Then we will drag and drop a choice stage, double click. I will name it as check priority and create three choices. I will name the first choice as low priority, second one as medium priority and the third one as high priority. Now let's enter the choice criteria. We want to check if the currency in this single row dot currency is present in one of the three environment variables, low, medium, or high. So we will use this function called inString, which you can check if a given string is present in another string and returns the position of that string. For example, if you see here, we are checking at which position does the string MP appears in this string example. It appears at one, two, three, fourth position. So in our case, we want to search the string which is in single row dot currency, which could be like USD or AED or GBP. And we want to search if it is present inside this environment variable low. So we will drag and drop low here and single row dot currency here and click paste. The output of this function, as I said, will be the position number. So if the single row dot currency is indeed present in the environment variable low, then it should return a position number which should be greater than zero. If it returns zero, then it means that the string is not present. So we will put greater than zero as a condition and click OK. Similarly, we will fill in the expression for medium and high. And then I will click OK. All right, now we have three conditions and for each condition, the priority in this add to queue should be different. For high, it should be zero. For medium, it should be one. And for low, it should be two. And there is this fourth condition, which is otherwise, where you haven't mentioned the currency in any of the three variables. For that also, we will assign low priority, which is priority number two. So instead of one add to queue stage, we need four of them. 
everything will remain exactly the same except the priority number so we will delete these links and let me rearrange the diagram to get some more space Okay, now we will create three more copies of this add to queue stage. And then we will link all these stages. Now let's open each add to queue stage and set the priority number. I'll open the first one which is for low priority. Enter the priority number as 2 and click OK. Then open the next one for medium priority. Set the priority number as 1. Click OK. Then the high priority. We will leave it blank and it will automatically take it as 0. And finally for otherwise we will set the priority to 2 and click OK. Then I will save the process and we are ready. Now I'll go to the main page and set a breakpoint at get next item and click go. Okay, it reached the breakpoint and if we go to the queue You can see that we have only one item with CAD as a currency and it is given priority 0 which is the high priority. Then we have only one item with EUR and it is given priority 1 which is medium priority. And for rest of the items priority 2 is assigned because we gave GBP and USD in the low priority environment variable and we didn't mention AED in any of the variables so it took the otherwise path and assigned priority 2 again. Alright, I'll go back to the process and click go. Okay, it reached the breakpoint and if I go to the queue, you can see the item with CAD got completed first. Though it is the sixth item in the queue, it was processed first because it has got the highest priority number. So let's click go again. And now if we check the queue, you can see that EUR got completed because it has got the next highest priority number. The rest are all of priority 2 so in this case the get next item will pick the items based on the time when it was added to the queue. So the next item should be this USD. Let's test it out. I will click go. The breakpoint reached and if I go to the queue, here you go, USD got picked up. Okay, so that is how priority works. I hope you have a clear understanding of priority now. Thank you for watching and let's see in the next video.